What's going on out there in Tuber Land? Well, you know, I told you before, my son bought a house. We've been busy working with him, trying to get it together so they can move in. Well, today they finally moved in, but they're gonna still probably end up spending another night or two here at the house with us. Um, so they can get everything unpacked, smoothed out, ready to go. But the reason I'm making this tape tonight is because I got a mail call. And I'm gonna tell you, he's your friend and my friend too. It's George, the Shade Tree Fix Man. And yep, I really like this guy. I mean, he really puts on a good video, shows us all kinds of neat stuff. I've learned a few things from him. I like videos like that. But anyhow, here we go. I got a sticker. And I'm telling you, the envelope says, please do not bend. George, I have to say, you are the man. And thank you for the sticker. I'm gonna hang it up here on my YouTube wall. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, I love my kids. I really do, I love my grandkids. Man, it was great having them. But man, it's good to see them go too, you know? Um, so, you know, as you know, I've been quite busy helping my son. Um, I have had time in to get up to the city again. So everything's going through. They're gonna come out and do an inspection of the yard and uh, make sure that they want everything to their pleasing because I have to put a building really up and I got two buildings I got to tear down, which is one's the old house and the other one's the old garage, which I use for an office for so many time because our old building had burnt down. Uh, so I'm thinking sometime this week or sometime next week, I will call and make the appointment for them to come out. Um, so hopefully they'll come out and uh, okay everything, man, so we can get started. Because man, you know, I've been waiting like four years. Believe it or not, four years for this. But hey, it's coming. Um, I found a pole barn for sale. The guy built it about eight years ago, screwed everything together, and he wants to sell it. So I guess he sold the property and the guy that bought the property don't want it on there, so he's kind of kind of like get rid of it. He said I could have it for like 2,000 bucks, but I could probably get a little bit cheaper once I get out there and talk to the guy. But it's like two and a half hours away, maybe three hours away. So I gotta take this barn down, bring it back out here, and put it back up. Man, I ain't never done that before. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I'll probably have to buy for it, like uh, new poles and stuff like that. But uh, I had a guy said that he would probably do it for me. Um, he didn't really give me a price. This is a 40 by 40 pole barn. Uh, one part of it's like 12 foot, the ceiling's 12 foot, and the other part of the ceiling's like eight foot, because it kind of slopes down. Uh, but it is a really nice building. But, I don't know, man. I figure by the time I get this pole barn, take it down there, bring it all the way out here, put it back up, I'm still gonna have probably 10 or $12,000 in this thing. And I can put a brand new one up for, you know, 14,000 turnkey, you know. I gotta get an electrician to come out and put the wire in and do that, this and that, but uh, I think for the extra couple grand, I'm probably better off just getting the new one and be done with it. That way I can get what I want. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, right now it's slow. People ain't buying cars, you know. Uh, you can buy new parts cheaper than you can buy used parts, you know. But I'm gonna tell you something. A used part's a proven part. How many times have you went out and bought a new starter? You know, spent the hour or whatever it was to put it in your car, come to find out that starter ain't no good. You know? I mean, come on now. You spend, you're gonna go out and you're gonna spend a few extra bucks for a new starter, and then it's not gonna work. But you come to my junkyard, I can sell you a used starter, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, you know. Some are a little higher and lower. I'm gonna guarantee it for 30 days, all right? And I'm gonna to prove to you that it works before you take it out the door. So I mean, really, you know, I mean, what would you rather have? So I'm kinda of like, you know, doing some more research because I've been out of the business for quite a while that's really, you know, I raised my family on this. You know what I'm saying? That's how I made money to survive, but 
the cells just ain't out there like they used to be. Cause I talked to a couple friends. I still got friends that own yards, salvage yards and stuff, you know. And, and they say it's not like it used to be. And plus, I, I pay a lot more money for cars. I pay $500 for a car. Hey, you know, uh, 16, 17 years ago, I was buying five cars for $500. Sometimes even 10. I mean, I, you might find it hard to believe, but I bought a lot of nice cars for $40, $50, you know. So, I mean, getting back into business is going to be a little tight, but hey, I think it's going to be well worth it. You know, scrap, it comes up, it goes down. It comes up, it goes down. Well, hey, man, it's just the way it is. In business, it's like that. I remember... I might go, you know, three or four weeks and not make any money except for off of what I've scrapped, you know. And most of the time I got to use that to buy more cars or whatever, you know. No money was coming through the door. But on your good days, that's the money you got to save. You got to put it up. So I really think that uh, I'm getting expired on, you know, in, in inspired to get this yard back open now because I'm getting a little closer. You know, I feel a bit better about it. Uh, I just wish my kids, you know, my boys, I got two sons, I got two grown boys. I wish they would get a little bit more interest in it because that would help me out a lot, you know. Uh, my wife, she's talking about, hey, you know, I'm really not happy at my job. I said, well, then if you quit it, then I guess you'll be doing the books at the junkyard, running the counter. <laughs> you know, hey, she'll do a good job. My wife, she takes good care of things. She knows how to work the computer and stuff like that. I mean, I might have to show her how to put stuff on Craigslist and eBay and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know, man. I'm getting kind of geeked up, you know. It's getting that time. It's getting closer and closer. So, um, hopefully we can get that thing going and uh, everything look good. But, hey, George, the Shade Tree Fix It Man, I really appreciate that sticker, man. I'm going to hang it on the wall. I thank you very much. And I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope you guys are staying out of trouble. And I got prayers for all you guys, man. Take care. I'll see you again soon.